best start to the season for Kevin Durant. Look at the numbers. He was the youngest scoring champion back in 2010. And guys, he's leading the league in scoring again. So for Look all the conversation, yeah, right? Wow. For Boy, all the conversation shoot. that we've had about how this Nets roster can make it work on the court, there were never any questions about KD. I mean, look, it was a little bit of talk. I happened to be in the building in Toronto tonight. He blew his Achilles out. Mm -hmm. I was sitting mm -hmm. right there watching. It was on the, on the floor. Yep. And in that game, when he was playing, he started off slow. Mm -hmm. and he hit a couple shots, and then he started. He forgot about that Achilles, and he started going to work. Fast forward, you watch him come back, and then you watch him play last year at an all-star level, yeah. at an MVP-type level, and then you watch him go play in the Olympics, and now you see all these guys who play in the Olympics are struggling, except two, Bam and Kevin Durant. And Kevin Durant game, he's so efficient, and the thing, he doesn't take bad shots, he doesn't force shots, and whenever he want a basket, he can get to anywhere on the floor that he wants to get and just raise up open three. Yeah. He is probably the most efficient scorer that we have in the NBA today, and... He's going to go down in the record books as one of the top three or four scores of all time. Hey, Sam, if not the best when it's all said and done. We know that Steph Curry may be the best shooter anywhere on the floor, any hand off the draw, the stuff he's shown us lately. But what Kevin Durant's doing at seven feet, after the injuries, Sam talked about it, the Olympics, it's a matter of can he stay healthy? We, we get a little nervous now. We say, Steve Nash, can you give him a minute here or there? You know, it's like, can you give him in here or there? Because you, are we wearing him? That's my only certain concern, Sam, is that forget about the elephant in the room conversation. Is there enough around KD, and can you keep KD healthy enough to ride yes. this season along you know why I for the playoffs? Why do you believe? For this reason. When you watch all these teams play, mm -hmm. they have one-way play. Right. They just run down the court and jack up threes. On right. the nights, they're not making threes. Mm -hmm. They get blown out. Yep. You watch Brooklyn. Think about what they can do. They can outshoot the best mm -hmm. from the three-point line. Mm -hmm. But then James Harden, Kevin Durant, what can they do? They can play from 15 feet in, and they can post up and get all the way to the basket. So the difference between Brooklyn stars and a lot of these other stars, like I watched Utah all day. Yeah. Just run down the court, shoot yeah. three, shoot three, shoot yeah. three. Okay? Yeah. The yeah. nights that Brooklyn are not making threes, guess what Kevin Durant do? He go post up. Mm -hmm. He pump fake, gets to that 15-foot range and drop, rise over it. James Harden does his thing. They can score at different levels. So they're different from other teams on the night. They're not making jump shots. They can beat you other ways. Then if the assumption, Coach, is that the Nets' success will follow KD's, where is his team's ceiling this season? To the finals. I think right now if I had to bet money, I'm picking Brooklyn and Golden State in the finals. Well, have you but already bet money? You said that pretty uh, yeah, passionately. Well, yeah. <laughs> Brooklyn has the two best one-on-one -on -one players in the league on one team. Mm -hmm. And then Golden State is the best team as far as moving the ball. They got the greatest shooter. And then they got two guys coming back that's going to add some yes. firepower. Oh, my yes. God. You talking my about a 7-1 guy in James Wiseman and a 6-7 defender and great shooter in Klay Thompson? I'm hoping at some point, 3D, that Kyrie comes back because if those two teams meet in the final and they're healthy and rested, Oof. oh, my God, that could be – it takes me back to when I used to get ready to watch Bird and Magic mm -hmm. or Jordan and, and, and the teams that he had to beat. It's that tight. If those two teams can meet and be healthy, man, we could have a finals that's unbelievable. Yeah, must-see TV. If, if, if the basketball guys is, is hearing Sam's yeah. <laughs> dream, Jeff, it would be must-see TV because all those dynamic personalities in play would be on this display. One, la one last thing about KD that he's been saying since day one, since the first time I met him, I just want to hoop. And that's the part I think the casual fan on that he's hooping. And he's been doing it from AU to Sandlot to D.C., Maryland, you know, PG County. He's out there hooping. Oh, we got to play in the summertime. That's yes, what people that's, that's don't understand. We've been James doing the summer. Harden, people yes. were killing James Harden. Now, James was hurt this summer. Right. Normally, James Harden and Kevin Durant, they play basketball all yes. summer. It never Anywhere. changed. Anywhere. And everywhere. Outside, yes. inside. They and just play. They